<laughs> I got to see what my dad did, and I think that's pretty cool because I kind of want to be like my dad, but, but at the same time, I want to be my own self. From Delta Company's perspective, we appreciate you and your family. I wanted to give you our company point of excellence. serving with Luciano Rodriguez. Also at the same time, very eye-opening experience for me because uh, that was also the first handler uh, that I saw pass away. Uh, so it was very eye-opening to what we do. Um, that it's not just we, we hold on to a leash and we walk um, down the streets of, of some installation. Uh, we go on secret service missions. Uh, we, go down, uh, we go down range, we're in the front. Uh, we're expected to, to protect everybody behind us. So it was a very eye-opening experience for me. We're gonna do a 21 minute AMRAP, as many rounds as possible. A lot of times I'm overwhelmed with emotion, so it's hard to say a lot of words. Um, I, you know, I can say a lot more words, and I'm good at lecturing my kids, I'm good at lecturing my patients, but as a Gold Star spouse, it's, it's, you know, I don't always have the words to say, but all this is very meaningful to our family. I like to uh, see what my dad's footsteps were, to see what he'd gone through and stuff like that. I've always like found his stuff and like, you know, messed with it and like I was like with him or something like that. So today we will um, be covering a building search, how we train our dogs to locate an individual in the building. You'll see the beginning stages as far as well as some more advanced stages as the dogs progress through training. We'll also cover basic obedience, which are the building blocks of what we build off of for the dogs. We'll also do scouting, which is the same as similar to building. Um, where you're searching for an individual, but out in a field, wood line, that kind of area. Bite work as well, that's part of our patrol training. So bite, apprehending a suspect, um, biting the arm, holding the decoy. Of course, it's my dad's. Of course, it shows Rod on my other side, on the other side. This is probably one of the only, you know, services, uh, occupations, communities that, that do a lot to, to honor the fallen. Um, and that, to me, they really accommodated Zachary to bring him out, to let him see and follow in the footsteps of what his dad um, did for a living, what his dad, one of the things that he loved and enjoyed most, um, of course, was canine. Um, he loved that job. He said that that was the best job in the world, the best job in the Army. Um, and today, Zach got to experience that firsthand. Zach was a kid when his dad got killed in Afghanistan. And I think being an adult now, um, it was good for him to experience this today. That's our unofficial official squadron toy. <laughs> so I just want to present this to you so you remember your time here. Thank you. Anytime you look at it. It has a flag and it has the, the logo right here. Yeah, if you look on the collar, it's 341st TRS. It's pretty cool. I had an amazing time. At the, at the training squadron for working with the dogs. And, you know, I'm a bit sore from like the workout, but you know, it is what it is. I, I did enjoy it. I really appreciate you coming out. I'm glad to see that you wanted to come out and see what it is to be a military working dog handler or a trainer. I think that is phenomenal. All right, there's a very small select few that want to do this job day in and day out. So I greatly appreciate that. So on behalf of the commander of the 341st, 
the military working dog course, we're going to present you with your honorary blue patch. Zachary E. Rodriguez is hereby recognized as an honorary apprentice military working dog trainer on this 21st day of December 2022. All right, so this is something that you can take with you, okay, and hang it on your wall, put it on your, your desk or whatever you want to do with it, okay? And along with this, you actually get the patch. Oh, sick. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Thank you very much. And I think I have one more thing. On behalf of the dog pound, you get a military work. You already got one? <laughs> I got to see what my dad did. And I think that's pretty cool because I kind of want to be like my dad. But, but at the same time, I want to be my own self. From Delta Company's perspective, we appreciate you and your family. I wanted to give you our company point of excellence. So, thank you, sir.